Hello guys, my name is Gloria Belizma IGF. Munifate pale IG and don't forget to subscribe to the Gatekeepers channel. Channel ya watu wazi. Hi guys, welcome back to the Gatekeepers TV. As usual, you show your super host. I'm Dennis Keton. I do something. And we're here still game week 11. We just, if you just saw our first video, we just did the Saturday matches for game week 11. Now let's tackle the Sunday matches. So straight to it, uh, at 16.00 hours EAT time, Aston Villa are going to be welcoming, of course, Chelsea. Um, so this is going to be a good game, good game. So Pogba, uh -huh. without further ado, so take us through Steven Gerrard's squad. Well, having coming back from beating, uh, should I say 10-man or just Wolves, Wolves? Beating Wolves, 3-0. <laughs> Chelsea are uh, looking forward to continue the, their impressive form under Graham Potter. Mm -hmm. So um, this one, Aston Villa on the other side, they have not been impressing me. I said in the other video, they are not, they are totally, totally out. I don't know why. So I feel like Chelsea still has the squad, it has the strength, it has the, the, the formation to beat Aston Villa. So I'll give it to Chelsea. Although now that Aston Villa will be at home, there will be no clean sheet this time around, but 3-1 in mm. favor of Chelsea. 3-1, yeah. Mm. So uh, Chelsea boys, the Blues, will be traveling to Villa Park. So clearly this is a big, big, big match as we always know. So I can't wait for this. So uh, as Aston Villa is going to face uh, Chelsea today, uh, this is going to be a crazy. Villa going to face uh, Chelsea at Villa Park. It's going to be a brilliant game to watch. And uh, remember, Aston Villa are trying to actually come back, but still not yet there. Steven Gerrard has some homework to do, and he has a lot to achieve. Uh, they In their last match, in game 10, they drew against Nottingham Forest. Um, who scored for them? I think Ashley Young scored that only goal mm -hmm. for them. So um, they're going to face an informed Chelsea. Chelsea currently under Graham Potter, they have not lost any match and they seem to be ascending. The only way they can go is only high. So they are aiming higher. Emu higher. Emu higher. Mm. So uh, the last match which they played, of course, they won 3-0 to Wolves in the Premier League. Then in the Champions League, they proved that uh, they are not there by luck. They won back to back against uh, AC Milan. <laughs> so 2-0 it was. Um, and remember, uh, wing back, our uh, wing back, it's crazy. So Chelsea has a good squad, of course. Wait, Regent is out. Regent is out, but I hope some miracles happen. So will, <laughs> I hope he will be, he'll be there for the next weekend. No, no, no. Why, why will, when we will be facing Manchester United, Rhys James needs to be back in form. That should be next weekend on Saturday. We want him back. We don't want excuses. No problem. No problem. Mm. There's a big match, by the way, guys. <laughs> Continue. So, Chelsea, we are going to have our team ready to go. And, of course, we keep on mentioning that Ngoro Conte is still recuperating and uh, he's back in training. But let's see how he will be incorporated into the team. So in this match, I feel like uh, Chelsea will continue to impress and they will want to continue with their impressive runs of winning every match that they participate from now henceforth. So I'm looking for a 3-1 win, uh, or should I say a 3-0 win? So this should be a clean sheet for Chelsea, even though we will be away. Mm -hmm. So and Aubameyang impressive, he scored in the Champions League again. Uh, Jorginho scored a penalty in the Champions League, but in this game, I feel like Aubameyang and uh, Sterling will be the people to watch. They will be impressive. Not to mention Mount, a super impressive guy. Uh, Kepa, I'm so excited. You're keeping clean sheets and you're good at the, uh, at the post. So big up. Chaloba has actually stepped up actually to bridge that gap of Fofana. And uh, Chelsea is Chelsea. So Danny Ings, on the other hand, in Aston Villa, I hope that uh, he's back or Lewandowski Kings and everyone. So it's going to be a good game. So give it a 3 nil for Chelsea. Okay. Um, I just I predicted 3-1. Three 3-1, one. Three one, yeah? For Aston Villa. So let's do Leeds versus Arsenal because uh, the info from Arsenal, Arsenal just on Thursday, they faced... Uh, they faced in Europa champion in Europa, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was also saying Europa. In Europa, they won by a solitary goal. Yeah. Uh, Bukayo Saka saved the day. He scored that crazy and uh, that goal, which made them win. So they're going to face Leeds after facing Liverpool at Ellen Road. Huh? Definitely. So Leeds, uh, of course, Leeds. Leeds is a good team, 
but currently they are not enjoying the best form of their life. They lost in game week, in match week 10. Uh, so as they are coming to face the inform arsenal, the leaders of the Premier League, as you can see on the table right there. So these are people who are giving their all as they are playing. Their players have a spirit and fight. Ateta has managed to make the team to gel. And I'm not seeing them losing any match anytime, uh, anytime now. So I can only tell you guys without fear of contradiction, Arsenal are going to win this game by three goals to one. So Leeds, I'm sorry. Leeds won't have any chance. Arsenal three goals to me. To me, yeah. Mm-hmm. So Manchester United, and I repeat, Manchester United, they yeah, luckily yeah. won yesterday night uh, as they were playing Olmo. Omono, yeah. That team. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, McTominay scored in the 93rd minute after... Uh, Olmonoia keeper was actually it's very okay. <laughs> he was very impressive in that part. Okay. But Manchester United started their primary squad. But anyway, let's give credit where it's due. Olmonoia played a good game and they Fantastic. were organized. Uh, the fact that they were able to hold Manchester United like that, it means that it's a good team. But it was not by chance because even in the first leg, the match ended 3 2. You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, it's a team which has some strength and uh, it's a team to watch. We should be watching that team in the near future, right? Mm-hmm. So as they, they're going to face the inform boys, the new boys, the Arabian or the Saudi boys, Newcastle. Oil, oil, money. The oil. <laughs> Newcastle. So they will be, of course, at uh, Old Trafford. Newcastle are coming into this game having, having scored nine goals in two games. The last match they were playing uh, last weekend in game week 10, they won by a whooping five goals to one. In that game, Guimarães was back. He scored a brace. Of course, on my own scored. It was a, just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant match. So they're going to face Manchester United. Pogba, I want to hear what are your thoughts in this game? Well, um... If you can remember very well, we were beaten by Brentford four goals to one. Yeah, yeah, true. You can imagine how poor we are. Even Brighton did so. Yeah. Uh-huh. The same same Brentford uh-huh. were beaten five for one. Yes, by So you, you can imagine where we are. <laughs> <laughs> now we are going to meet a team that thrashed Brentford five goals to one. The same same Brentford that thrashed us four goals to nil. Mm-hmm. Kazipo. It's going to be a good game to watch, right? Manchester United against Newcastle, Kazipo. Not an easy game by the guys, just to tell you the truth. Regardless of Manchester United, on paper, they have the best squad. Currently, yeah, you have the best squad as compared to Newcastle. Definitely. And uh, of late, you are doing well. Let's not even take that away from you guys. Um, but the fact is, this game has never been an easy one since time in memorial. Mm-hmm. So I feel like uh, as you're going to face Newcastle, you need to come prepared they are always prepared for you guys and i feel like please brace up for some worse news on sunday definitely yeah, and of course on sunday you know the devil never wins on sunday because that's the day when we pray and we cast out the demons but it is, what it is. so i'm giving newcastle a 2-1 win in this oil money oil club we are ready you ready we are ready okay. so uh manchester united against newcastle now this one um, I feel like possession, let's give it to Newcastle, of course, don't argue with me. Possession, give it to Newcastle. I'm a United fan. Possession, give it to Newcastle. First half, 0-0. Zero, zero. Second half, in fact, first half, United will go down by a goal. Mm-hmm. Second half, 2-2. Two, two. So, two, two. full time, 2-2. Two, two. Two, two, yeah. mm-hmm. So, you are willing to drop points. You drop points, Brentford wins, Brentford overtakes, not Brentford, Brighton overtakes you from the table, you go to position 7, yeah? But it is what it is. Then the next match over the week, to on uh, over the week, you will be facing Tottenham. You lose against Tottenham. After losing against Tottenham, mm-hmm. on weekend you meet Chelsea. You lose against Chelsea. Are you seeing yourself going to position 30? Now that's how we prove the haters. <laughs> we will win all of them actually, guys. We will win all of them. Anyway, that's those were. He said 2-2. I said 2-1. Uh, the next match will be Southampton versus West Ham United. The in, uh, in from West Ham United. They won their last match 3-1. Susek is in form. Antonio scored. Scamara, Boeing. the new signing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bo, Bo, uh, not Susek, guys. Bowen. Huh? Mm-hmm. Bowen is the one who I apologize. So Bowen, Scamara, and Antonio scored. This boy seems to be back to it. They're doing whatever they do. Southampton, on the other hand, hmm, they lost, right? Yeah, to the best team. To, uh, definitely. So crazy. They lost 4 0 yeah? yeah. So uh, I feel like uh, 
their 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 issues are not yet going over anytime soon because West Ham are coming to dominate this game and they're actually coming to collect points from this. So I'm looking for a two two draw in this match. Same to me looking for a two two draw now that Southampton will be at home. Mm. They'll try to do a a major comeback. Mm-hmm. They'll try to launch a major comeback but it won't be possible to a team like West Ham so two two. Two two. Mm. So guys Premier League is, in, is is a good league so as we complete this game, so continue sticking around. We love you to know Appenda, the Gatekeepers TV is the TV channel to tune on to. So uh, we still have some two matches which will be coming to you in a few. So until next time, subscribe. Eh?